Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Nisha Singla, and in today's session, we are going to talk about another important interview question on JavaScript that asked most of the time. So, now let's understand what is the question. The question is suppose we have an array which has multiple items inside it, and we want to have an output something like this. So, how this output is generating? Just try to understand here we have A, suppose, and it's repeating three times. So, we need to display how many times A is repeating how many times this b is repeating and same for c and d so basically we want to count the duplicate elements in the array it's a very simple question but sometimes we get confused during interview how to solve it so let's understand how to solve this problem statement there could be multiple ways of solving it i will share my approach and in the comment section you can let me know how you are going to solve this problem so suppose i have a function and i'm giving it a name of count duplicate so first let's create the structure and the main logic we are going to do at the end. At last we have to call this function. So I am just putting console and just calling this function which will hold this item right. So I need to pass my array to this function. As of now when you run this one you will not see anything. It's undefined because nothing is returned from here. So now just focus on the output. Output is a type of object. So it means at the end this function is going to return an object which will have an output something like this. So let's create a output object which is initially is an empty object. And at the end after my logic I will return this output somewhere. When you run this one your output will be empty object. Now we have to write our logic here because we have to modify this output from this to this so here the input is basically an array right so we have to iterate over this array element and we have to read out each element from this array and then we have to see is it repeating or not so for that I am using map method that will help me to iterate so first of all I am passing this item I need to hold it somewhere so I am giving it a name of data and now I can say data dot map and every item is going to hold in this variable right so if you do console.logd, it will print one by one every element. If you are beginner, I always recommend to break your statement into smaller ones so that you understand at every stage what output you are getting. So as of now, I'm getting correct output. I'm getting every character of my array inside this console.log. So that is fine. Now we have to push my every element inside this object in this format. So let's break that also in a smaller part. What you will do? I will say output of D equals to some logic. But let's put one as of now. So what is what it will do for the first time when my D is A. So it will do something like this output of A equals to one. Right. So let's see what it will print on console. Fine. Automatically it filter out at least. Now we are getting only the unique value A, B, C, D. It is not repeating B, A multiple times. The reason being I told you so for the first time when the D was A it did like this and when B was printed C was printed so when the fourth time when the item is again A it will do something like output A equals to 1 so it means it's a kind of overwriting the variable now instead of 1 we have to see if the value is repeating we have to increment it by 1 every time so for that it's quite simple what you can do you can check if your output has a value of D then fine otherwise by default hold its value as 0. So for the first time when A was just entered for the first time when I say A it is not there in the output right. So for the first time it would be 0 and I will add 1 to it. So when you run this one it will display me the exact same output. So here this logic is very straightforward when output when my object doesn't has this key it will hold 0 to that and add 1. So for the first time when it will hold A it will hold its value as 1. For the next time when again A will be there output of D will be 2 because it will hold 1 for the next iteration. So 1 plus 1 2. When, when the third time A will be there at that time output of D will be 2. So it will say 2 plus 1 as 3. So this way we can increment the value by 1 for every duplicate value. So this is how you can solve this problem statement. 
let me know in the comment section if you get this problem how you are going to solve it i will see you in the next video with more interesting topic till then keep learning